Hi, I'm Mike Deal. I'm the product manager for our HP Z1 workstation, and today I'm going to introduce to you the new HP Z1 G2 workstation. This is a follow-on to our current HP Z1 workstation that we introduced back in April of 2012. The ideal product market segments for this platform continues to be uh, the mechanical CAD uh, area as well as the architecture, engineering and construction markets, and media and entertainment as well as education. So the reason we have two uh, HP Z1 G2s uh, sitting in front is uh, we have an option for either touch and non-touch versions of this platform. So the touch version includes the full glass, just as our first generation uh, Z1 had. And this is a 10-finger multi-touch uh, capability and looks very much like our current generation Z1. What we're doing here is we're allowing customers to choose between glass and non-glass, depending on what their preference is. The features. Uh, beyond the touch and non-touch are identical for both units. In this unit here, we have an optical drive. The optical drives we support are DVD-ROM, DVD rewrite, and a Blu-ray writer. Optionally, you can remove the optical drive and install a Thunderbolt 2 module, which Thunderbolt 2 will provide up to four times the bandwidth capability as a USB 3 and is very attractive for digital media and entertainment markets. Now let's take a look at the, what's on the inside of the HP Z1 G2. To do that, we'll start from uh, this position and lay it down flat in what we call the service mode, which is the flat position. From here, you open up these two side tabs, and the system opens up, exposing the inner beauty of the Z1 G2 workstation. We have uh, support for one of the Core i3 processors and one Core i5 processor, in addition to a selection of three uh, E3 Series 1200 uh, version 3 Xeon processors. We have the disk storage bay, and there's a green tab on this handle here, which indicates that that's a user serviceable item that can be removed or installed without the use of any tools. You simply lift up the handle and pull straight out. We support Thunderbolt 2, and again, that's toollessly uh, removed and installed in this area here. Along the bottom front, you can see the two dual cone left and right stereo speakers. And then for the wireless keyboard, uh, we have a USB key. And that concludes our review of the new HP Z1 G2 workstation. We've added significant capability over the current Z1, things such as 10 finger multi-touch, the ability to uh, provide the option for an anti-glare panel by removing the front glass. We've added the option to add Thunderbolt 2 capability as well as the much faster MSATA storage device.